Hello everyone and welcome to the second webinar of our Sense Group workshop commemorating the the World Environmental Day. Uh, today the 5th of June is very important and we need to to add and, and disseminate ideas to help the planet to be greener. So here at, you can see our our group um, for, this is your group as well. There are mm, some many, well, many members, but we would like you to be part of our this initiative. Here you can find a lot of information, and here in the group journal, I uploaded first the the United Nations uh, theme of this for this uh, year, which is beach plastic pollution. And here is Antonio, Antonio Guterres, uh, who is the Secretary General of the United Nations, that in one minute uh, he has a, a speech Spanish. about the... It's essential for a prosperous and peaceful future. We all have a role to play in protecting our only home. But it can be difficult to know what to do or where to start, and that is why this World Environment Day has just one request. Beat plastic pollution. Our world is swamped by harmful plastic waste. Every year, more than 8 million tons end up in the oceans. Microplastics in the seas now outnumber stars in our galaxy. From remote islands to the Arctic, nowhere is untouched. If present trends continue by 2050, our oceans will have more plastic than fish. On World Environment Day, the message is simple. Reject single-use plastic. Refuse what you can't reuse. Together we can chart a path to a cleaner, greener world. Well, uh, after very, this very short video of Antonio Guterres, I would like to introduce uh, today's um, colleague, who is going to talk, Maria Sord. So, Sorgiadaki, who is going to talk about the um, the sustainable development goals and how she uh, in, implemented in her school. Her school is the Vocational Lyceum Yara Petra in Crete. Uh, and now I'll let you with Maria. Hello, Maria. How are you? Hello, Agustin. Hello, everybody. I'm fine. <laughs> Anxious to begin my uh, presentation. Um, Agustin, uh, will you uh, stop sharing your screen and then my uh, screen appears? Okay, thank you. Welcome, everybody. Uh, today we will talk about sustainable sustainable development goals and school projects. Uh, we, we are about to begin. Um, let's see. Agustin, why my slides don't change? Um, I think you need to, to, to go to your screen. Yes, uh, I'm on my screen. Yeah, and go to the. Um, you can escape from the presentation and start from the beginning. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what do we see in this uh, photo? Uh, we have put the twinning in the center of the seventeen global goals. Why? Because. E-twinning can be the starting point, the point uh, where we begin teaching in our school about the 17 sustainable development goals. I will show you today my attempt to integrate uh, the teaching about the 17 global goals in my school in a structured way. We will talk about uh, the e-twinning project ZOE. It, is, uh, it was a collaboration between only two schools, 
to uh, vocational schools, both of them, high schools, and uh, um, five uh, teachers were involved, two teachers of English language, Brigitte and Despina, uh, two teachers of biology and uh, agricultural sciences, Karin and Maria, and one teacher of uh, citizenship. This is me, Maria Suryadaki. I am a teacher of agricultural, agricultural sciences. I teach in the Department of Agriculture in my vocational high school in Iarapetra, in the island of Crete in Greece. Uh, why do we have to teach about the 17 goals? Because uh, these goals show us the way towards a better life. And Zoe, the name of our project, is the Greek word for life. Uh, the 17 global goals are the vision for a better world, the vision we have to have towards our future. The basic aim of the project uh, was and is to sensitize students to become active citizens on the sustainable development goals. Now we see that the school is in the middle again uh, of all these uh, goals that the United Nations um, formed uh, looking uh, towards uh, 2030 so that these goals are achieved. Um, why do we have to teach about uh, these goals in school? Uh, in my opinion, our students are the generation that in 2030 they will be the adult citizens, they will be the working force. And that's why now that they are still developing their attitudes, their um, attitudes toward, towards life, uh, now they have to have a, a positive um, vision towards their future. They have to know what we have to change in this world, because I believe that all of you um, see that our world is not perfect. Our world is full of problems, and we have to uh, find solutions for these problems. Uh, now, we had one class in uh, my school. Here they are, my adorable students in front, in front of our twin in graffiti. And two classes from the French school. Um, and this collaboration uh, was ac actually related to the 17th goal, partnerships for the goals. Um, we have to collaborate with others in order to achieve these goals. We have to uh, have a wide perspective of the world. We have to share, we have to understand, we have to have open mind, we have to connect, we have to exchange ideas, we have to be inspired by others. That's why we collaborate and we work better when we collaborate. Uh, now let's see the steps that we um, followed one by one through this project. Uh, it was an e-twinning project, so we had, of course, uh, first activity was to uh, present ourselves. Uh, our um, teams presented uh, themselves through, through photos and videos in a Padlet. It's a common e-twinning activity. This one, we have to know each other. Then we had to understand what sustainability means. Um, sustainability is a term that is not easily understood by the students. So I, I wanted them to uh, play a bit with it and um, in order just to explain what sustainability is, sustainable development, uh, students uh, had to create a map with these three circles, interconnected circles of society, um, environment, and economy. They had uh, little pieces of paper 
uh, with the 17 goals and separate other papers uh, with explanations of what each uh, global goal was about. So they had to combine all these, they had to relate them, uh, they had to, f they had to uh, think uh, which goals um, relate to which aspect of uh, sustainability and it was a procedure that uh, helped them a lot to understand what sustainability means. So, after um, understanding what sustainability is in the terms of uh, uh, definition, um, we had uh, uh, this activity, uh, what does sustainability look like? Both uh, team of students, the French students and the Greek students were given the same photos and they had to divide those photos in two groups, uh, the, the photos that uh, they show something sustainable and uh, something not sustainable. And then they had to explain, they had to create a text uh, to explain why uh, this photo shows us something sustainable or why this photo is something not sustainable. We uploaded those photos and text uh, in the, this um, dot storming and then they voted for the image and the text they liked most. It was an easy activity and um, I think meaningful be because they had to interpret the photos. It was an activity that my French uh, uh, partners suggested and uh, I liked it very much. Then we had a debate. Um, students were guarding it, gathered in the center of the classroom. I was uh, giving them a sentence and they had to uh, agree or disagree. And there were students who was taking notes about the results of the debate. We had uh, about uh, um, 15, I think, uh, phrases. Then we made another debate where um, the four groups uh, had one big paper and uh, a sentence again, and they had the right on the paper, uh, the pros and cons, if they agree or if they disagree. Uh, and uh, they, uh, after filling this paper, they had to change the uh, table, they had to change uh, this um, uh, paper. So uh, all groups um, wrote on all papers. What we did with uh, these um, uh, debates in the frames of the eight winning project, we uploaded the phrases and the texts that the students had written in this um, uh, three sider, and then the students voted for the um, for, for the sentences, for the pros and cons, for uh, every idea. We, they voted for the best one, what they liked most. That was an online debate. After the debates we had in class, and it was very interesting to see what the other uh, teams had written. Was it the same? Was it something different? Next activity was mapping our area on sustainable development. Students had to take their own photos from their area and explain uh, what uh, this photo was uh, showing. Is it sustainable or not? And we had to map three areas in each, uh, in each town, uh, in the in Petra and in the French town. Uh, uh, four areas, agri-food, energy, economy, and education. Um, it was in a Padlet, an activity made in the Padlet. And so we had the, um, the chance to see what is happening in the other uh, country, uh, what our partners uh, do in their towns or in their schools on sustainability. Next activity uh, was a, a real questionnaire on a piece of paper uh, that, um, as you can see here, some phrases were missing, some options, 
And here a whole uh, question was missing. So they had to communicate in the forum and decide what will they add here? What will they add in this uh, question? What will they add here? Uh, what other question could we add in this questionnaire? And when they finally decided on the new questions, uh, we created an online questionnaire um, that uh, it was answered not only by the students of the project, but by other students of the both schools, and we had 111 um, responses. And then we uh, discussed in the, in the classroom about the results of the questionnaire uh, to see uh, what are our attitudes, um, are they sustainable or not. Uh, so, uh, at this point, uh, I decided, uh, this is my, an activity that I, I made in my school, only my school, um, I decided to check if my students had fully understood what sustainable um, attitude means, what uh, sustainable uh, behavior is, uh, what sustainable activities are. and. Uh, I don't know if you know this uh, uh, game, the fish in the lake. Students were divided in uh, four groups, and uh, each group w it was supposed to be fishermen um, uh, living uh, near a lake. Uh, the lake had a specific uh, number of fishes in it, and there was a specific rate of reproduction of the um, uh, fishes. So the, each, each um, a uh, group had to decide how many fish will they uh, fish from the lake uh, so that uh, it continues to give them income. It was an activity that uh, uh, um, made me um, understand uh, that uh, my students had uh, fully uh, understood what uh, sustainability was about, and it was uh, an a successful activity. Uh, I realized that they know very well what to do. After um, completing these activities concerning the definition of uh, sustainability, it was time for us to act. Uh, this is the first poster uh, that we created. Uh, you see the um, drawings of uh, a Greek student. The Greek student designed Zoe. Zoe is a, a little gir girl that looks towards the future uh, through the 17 uh, Sustainable Development Goals. And this is our Earth that is suffering, and it is a drawing from a French student. Uh, oops, mistake. Now, it, it was time to act. It was time to take initiatives. Uh, since we know what sustainability is, we have to do something about it. We searched to find problems. Uh, we defined the causes of these problems, and we tried to find solutions. In this uh, slide, you see uh, the table that uh, we have in our twin space with the problems that our students um, uh, found and the sh uh, solutions they worked for. Um, I will read them first and then you will see slides about them. Um, plastic everywhere, the problem with the plastic everywhere, um, we found solutions uh, making uh, sh uh, shopping bags out of re reused fabric and making posters against the use of plastic. For the problem of paper waste in schools, we created recycling boxes. This is an activity that was done uh, from both schools. Uh, you will see in the end that uh, some activities were done uh, in both schools, some activities were done only in my school, some activities are done only in the French school. And that's because uh, sustainable development goals are flexible, uh, they are a framework. We have to uh, find solutions um, for the local problems for the very specific problem that we have in our area. 
Uh, so the global goals are uh, just a framework that shows uh, where we have to look at. Um, another problem was uh, that uh, pe people don't know about the 17 uh, sustainable development goals. So we made this collaborative poster that uh, all you have already seen. We created a leaflet that you will see uh, soon. Uh, we created a graffiti in our school. We created a radio spot that's very uh, interesting to talk about. Um, in the frames of this project, of Zoe project, and another project, uh, Peck in Babel, uh, which was run in my school at the same time, um, we had an activity in Peck in Babel to create a, a radio program. Uh, so we decided that uh, this radio program uh, should be about the 17 sustainable development goals. So uh, we have one activity uh, that actually served the two projects. Another problem was poverty, is poverty, and we collected food for the social market of our town. Uh, problem with education, children with no, uh, children, poor children that have no access to books, and it is very important for young people to read. So we built a little f free library to give away children's books that we don't need anymore. Uh, about the waste of energy, uh, the French school set up photovoltaic panels on, our, on their school roof and uh, they made posters in their classrooms asking to turn off the lights. Uh, about food wasting at school, uh, they built a chicken run uh, uh, to give them the food, uh, the, the, the food, the wasted food, and collect eggs from the chicken. And uh, uh, clothes wasting many people throw their clothes away so uh, they collected and used clothes to give them to uh, the town resources to be recycled. These were the actions that we took, the initiatives that we took and let's talk a little bit more about them one by one. In this photo I want to show you um, uh, my creative team, the, the students that were designing, and here they designed the girl who designed Zoe, uh, the boy that designed a poster, and uh, the girl who designed uh, our graffiti. It is very important to have a creative activities. My students are uh, 17 years old, but they love doing such things. Um, we needed uh, to have uh, something uh, triggering in the beginning, something that will uh, they, that will attract uh, their uh, mind, uh, something that will they uh, that it will make them um, that will motivate them. So, first thing we did was watching the film *A Plastic Ocean*. If you haven't seen it, you must see it. *A Plastic Ocean*. Zoe, so the, the watched the plastic ocean and what they did afterwards. I asked the students, what can we do to eliminate plastic? What can we do not to use plastic uh, shopping bags? And they thought that we could make uh, uh, our own uh, shopping bags out of uh, reused uh, uh, fabric. So uh, I brought my sewing mach machine uh, at school and we uh, designed a bag out of uh, an old bed sheet and we created a bag um, made of fabric that it was exactly as the plastic bag, the same size, as the, the same exa exactly size. The students were thrilled to use the sewing ma machine and um, they saw, they realized that this can happen. Uh, we can make our own shopping bags. No need to, to buy a, a shopping bag uh, made of fabric. We can make it our own bag. What he did in, uh, next, we made a contract. I asked the students that since they know what the 17 uh, global goals are, they had to pick one, what uh, goal they want to work for, and uh, what goal... Maria, yes? Would you like 
Uh, would you like to? The, there's some participants who would like to know when this uh, when your project uh, started. The project started on October of uh, 2017, this year. On September. And oh, how October. Old are your students? My students are 17, uh, 16, 17 years old. It's a vocational high school. Perfect. Um, Would you like to? Yes. Yes. No, no, that was all. Sorry. Okay. Um, so um, each student uh, signed a contract. I support this uh, goal and I commit that I will do this. So our uh, school library, this is the school library where we were working, uh, became a makerspace. And what my student, students started doing, uh, this is the recycling, uh, the boxes for recycling uh, papers in school. They uh, painted, uh, painted uh, the boxes and they put labels on it. And uh, now we have big boxes for the papers uh, in our school. They build. They build a little uh, free library that we will donate to a primary school, and uh, people co can uh, put uh, uh, children's uh, books that don't that they don't need anymore there, and uh, children can pick the, these books uh, with no obligation to return them. Uh, just take take them and read them. Uh, Pick one, bring one, says the label. And, uh, one student uh, made a birdhouse to support biodiversity. Emanuela drew, uh, drew a graffiti on the wall. Um, this is a butterfly. And it says, um, you can be the change you want to see in the world. It is a graffiti in our school and it uh, gives a message to our students that uh, we can change we can change like a butterfly this is a poster that uh, they made um, uh, for uh, stop using the plastic bags this is another poster a 3d poster it's, it's a construction not a printed poster uh, I, there is an angry fish saying the plastic that I will eat, you will eat it too. And uh, they have uh, glued uh, plastic objects that we usually find in nature. And uh, they finally go into the sea. Uh, we, uh, we took an idea from uh, Actioned uh, Greece. Uh, who was uh, um, was doing an um, event? He was asking uh, schools to produce uh, leaflets concerning the sustainable development goals, and we made our own uh, fanzine, our own uh, leaflet, our own uh, little magazine, which contained uh, phrases from the debates we had made and it contained uh, the posters and uh, at the back pa uh, the back from uh, at the back of the paper, uh, the 17 uh, sustainable development goals. Uh, you can see this is very small. I, it's folded, and then you can open it like a book. Now I want to talk to you a bit about the um, competences that uh, students develop uh, through uh, such activities. They are entrepreneurial competencies uh, with added value. Uh, in this uh, slide, you see the five uh, core um, comp uh, entrepreneurial competencies, spotting opportunities, creativity, vision, valuing ideas, and ethical and sustainable thinking. Uh, when we work towards the 17 development goals, what we do is really meaningful and we develop competences with added value.
and it is very important. Uh, that's why if you want uh, to run a project on competencies, on such kind of competencies next year, um, choose a theme uh, from the 17 global goals. An activity that uh, our teacher of English language uh, did in the class, in her classes, English classes, uh, with many students, not only the students that were involved uh, in the project, was uh, a memory game. Um, all students of our first uh, level of our school know about the 17 Sustainable Development Goals and uh, how they call them in English because of this game, because of this activity of our teacher. Uh, what else we did? We collaborated with a teacher from the United States of America who is uh, an ambassador of the uh, 17 Sustainable Development Goals and he's collecting money and he prints these uh, maps and he's sending them to schools all around the world. Uh, I met him in Twitter and uh, I told him that I am interested to have such a map and a, um, a such, uh, such a poster in my school. So he sent me two posters and I sent the second one, I, I kept one, uh, the, the first, and the second one I sent it to our French partners. So you can see here are my students holding the poster and uh, here is the, the poster in the entrance of the French school. Um, Guy Hamling, uh, the educator from the United States of America, wants that everyone, every school on earth has uh, a poster and uh, students know uh, what the 17 uh, Sustainable Development Goals are. Uh, here you see uh, the pages of our Twin Space. Uh, they are not all pages uh, public. I'm not sure if some uh, pages should be public. Uh, if you visit our twin space, uh, you can write this number and you can find our twin space. You will see that uh, the project overview the, that has all the timeline of our activities and links to all the applications that we have used. And you can see the into action page with all our activities there too. Oops. Uh, I want to show you, I want to share with you this uh, photo that I really love because it shows the enthusiasm that students had when we created things in the classroom. And this is the, um, um, how to say, the draft of the um, design for the graffiti and uh, my students jumping up uh, from joy that we had finally completed it. So I want to tell you that we must be enthusiastic with what we do. We must keep ourselves first motivated. It is very important that the, uh, because that way we can keep our students enthusiastic and we can keep our students motivated. I really loved this project, although we had many problems from the beginning, although um, at first uh, I, I, we had uh, decided with uh, my friends' partners to do uh, different things, uh, work with different classes. Uh, finally, some problems, problems uh, made me change my plans. Uh, I didn't give up. I wanted so much to work on, the sus on sustainability. Uh, so I advise you to stay connected, stay connected with pas passionate educators uh, that you can find in eTwinning Sense Group. Stay connected, it's very important. If you have a Twitter, uh, if you are a Twitter user, if we, you have a Twitter account um, and you want to embed uh, the global goals in your lesson plans, I'm giving you some uh, user users, some addresses that you can uh, follow, and they are they will certainly keep you motivated, and they will convince you that uh, you next year you have to work on sustainability. This hashtag 
uh, is very widely used in uh, Twitter. Uh, it is used by educators around the world that they are working on the global goals. And this is a link uh, where you can find many, many resources, uh, many, many ideas to work in your class. I will uh, uh, finish my presentation uh, giving credits, of course, to the creator of this very beautiful poster. Uh, I thank him for giving me the permission to use it. And you can see uh, this uh, link uh, where you can find uh, more posters uh, on, sustainable, on sustainability and how to use, how to take action in the classroom. Um, I, I believe that we must use uh, such kind of posters in the, our classrooms, in our schools. Um, and finally, I want to thank you. I am Maria Suryadaki. My username in Twitter papaki, um, at uh, Maria S301 uh, from First Palo Viera Petra, Greece. Thank you very much uh, for being with me, for, with us. Thank you very much, Maria. Um, it's been very, really interesting. And, uh, I would like to know how did you manage to um, to work the curriculum and the uh, project yes, at the uh, same time? Probably this question has been thought by many of the, the attendees. Uh, uh, Agustin, uh, I'm trying to uh, stop sharing my screen and go back to the live room. I I don't see um, what have I done wrong. I I have done. No, no, no. It was me. I, have I done something wrong? I changed this. Would you like to share any material? Uh, I don't have anything else to share. Uh, I just want to uh, discuss uh, with the participants, but I have to um, to stop sharing. Uh, have I stopped sharing? Where am I? Yeah, you, you, you stopped sharing. I don't it. find the the buttons to to stop sharing. Sorry. No. How to? Something something is wrong with the application. No, no, no. Relax. It's I, okay. I, I cannot see. I you. think this. <laughs> I cannot see. <laughs> no, what? I just I'm, I can just listen to you. Uh, I don't uh, see the chat room. No, we can see you. You look fine. <laughs> Probably is. you can uh, yes of course my camera is open <laughs> but I, I can see nothing anyway um, oh I love technology but uh, sometimes it is frustrating oh god <laughs> <laughs> I cannot see you anyway I, I can someone wants yes. to know how many hours you work I, I, per week. Ah, um, I integrated this project um, into a three hours per week uh, uh, zone for um, creative uh, activities uh, in our curriculum. We can choose whatever um, subject we want to work uh, creatively. And we have uh, three hours available in, our, um, in a week. Uh, so I collaborated with uh, my colleagues uh, of the English language for the part that had that needed tr translations, and um, everything else else was uh, done during uh, my three hours. So you you have been uh, working with the, with your English. Uh, colleague yes. at the school. I, I was collaborating with um, uh, two more colleagues in my school. It is impossible to uh, just uh, for one uh, teacher to do all this. Impossible. Especially in a vocational school uh, where okay. my students uh, don't have high academic uh, profile, uh, but uh, they love to do things creatively. So this project belonged to the whole no, school. No, it was just um, one uh, uh, class, one class of uh, 16, uh, 17 students in, a in the first level, in the uh -huh. first level of upper high school, 
a, a vocational high school, 16 and 17 years old. Mm -hmm. Any other? I don't know if, if there is any other question the participants would like to, to ask you. Or Claire, I cannot or see Elena. the Elena. chat room. Please uh, um, tell me what uh, if there is any question. Um, Maria, can you see the, the three little screens um, on, on the no, right? No, I can see only a, a grey um, box. Uh, that, ah. Yes, with, um, it says video 3 on it. I, don't, I have never seen it before. Now I, I see nothing. <laughs> My, I I think that I had to stop sharing, and I didn't. So I I lost. Uh, I don't know what is happening. So you cannot, I cannot see. No. See that. No, I cannot see anything. Uh, Sophia has another question. Did you have any Probably. economic support from school or parents? Economic support? No. And I have to admit that uh, I I paid uh, some uh, things uh, that I needed. I brought things from my house. Um, I had a little support from the school um, in printing materials or uh, in things we had to construct. Um, I think that I could collaborate with parents more, but I didn't. Maybe next year, if I do the same, I will ask for more support. I don't say that uh, my project is perfect. I, and I, I now can see what I could do better. And I would like to, to, to do the same thing again, but mm. better. I like the subject. Mm -hmm. I like working uh, on something meaningful. I like seeing uh, in, on the faces of my students uh, the excitement of uh, creation, creating something meaningful. Um, and I think that uh, if we make the same project next year uh, with different students, we will have a different outcome. So why not? And have, have you got the support of the educative inspections? Uh, I didn't understand the, the question, uh, Agustin. Yeah, the, yeah, if the inspections, the, the obstacle in, in Greece, it agree with your project? Uh, I had problems at the beginning because um, we don't have the same um, way of working in Greece and in France. Uh, in France, they begin lessons earlier than us. In Greece, uh, we have uh, many hours lost because of uh, students' um, sittings. I don't know, uh, um, they usually in September and October, they uh, do sit-ins, uh, they, they don't let us uh, make any lessons, and so we lose hours of uh, work, working hours. And that was a problem, because my uh, partners uh, were working and I couldn't work, so I was um, behind them in uh, some activities, but uh, it was very important that I found these partners during summer. We had a very good communication, we had a good relation uh, between us and uh, they were very supportive. Uh, although I asked, I, I told them uh, in September that uh, I was very sorry that I, I couldn't uh, begin with them, I couldn't begin working with them. Um, they had to wait for me or they, we had to give up on our project. But they insisted that we must continue. They insisted that we will find a solution. They were very supportive. And I appreciate that very much. I 
love it winning for this flexibility that it has. I love it winning for um, uh, the, the relations that we create with the other mm. teachers. And uh, I love uh, this, uh, the, the sharing of resources, of ideas. I learned a lot from my French uh, partners, a lot. Uh, they uh, offered me uh, a, a schedule that I couldn't um, uh, imagine in the beginning how we could uh, proceed because uh, initially I wanted to do this project uh, uh, related to agriculture uh, because I teach about agriculture and um, later on since I couldn't work with that uh, class and things changed um, I had full support from my French partners uh, on uh, building something uh, together that could work. They were waiting for us. Uh, um, it was a very good collaboration, very good collaboration. It's not, the out it's not just the outcome, it's the whole procedure uh, that uh, the, uh, everything we did, everything we did uh, for me was fine. And... Um, uh, there were new it winners, my partners, my French partners, it was their first uh, project. My, this uh, Zoe was for me my 20th project, uh, but I really appreciate this partnership for everything. Have you finished then? Uh, yes, we have finished. Now we have finished, we have uh, made an assessment. Uh, the students uh, have voted for their uh, uh, favorite activities. They have uh, voted uh, about um, uh, the value of the project. They assessed the, the project. Um, we, we have finished. We just have mm -hmm. to uh, fill something in twin space, uh, upload some material. But the project is uh, finished. Uh, both schools are in exams period, so we cannot do anything else. Yeah. I went into the twin space, and, and there's only open uh, a couple of uh, yes, all, pages. Yes, it's I told you so that I have only <laughs> two pages public. The other pages are not public yet. I want to be uh, perfect before I make them public. If someone wants to jo to, uh, to see uh, all the project, uh, I can uh, uh, add them as visitors and they can see all the pages from the inside or just wait a bit uh, to um, make all the pages public. Yeah, because there were some participants who were very interested in, in uh, your... Since uh, I stopped uh, uh, sharing my presentation and there were a lot of uh, um, links there, links, resources, addresses in Twitter, I would like to post all these links and uh, uh, stuff in the forum of this event or in the group somewhere so that uh, the participants can uh, use them. Uh, I must say once more that it is very important to keep ourselves motivated to work on uh, such projects, to stay connected, to uh, motivate each other, uh, actually. Um, I want to, to say to our participants uh, that um, uh, they have all the time uh, during uh, summer to think of uh, a new project on uh, sustainability to um, write their ideas on a piece of paper to um, draw the number 17 on it and uh, uh, to think very uh, seriously uh, to do something meaningful next year on some or oh, not all, in all of the uh, 17 uh, global goals just pick one and do something and share it with us. In our group, there's a section called materials, and it's divided into the st educational, different educational stages. So you can upload the materials, visual, but in the section embassies, 
you can write down some okay. links that we have used during this very interesting project. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Uh, my goal today was to um, motivate uh, uh, all the participants in doing uh, a project on sustainability. It is very important to, uh, to, um, uh, uh, to make our students understand that they have a major role in changing this world. Our world has to be changed, has to become better. And uh, young people must uh, become active, active citizens, uh, do things uh, better than yeah. us. Yeah, just, just today Elena and Laura was talking, were talking about this, to em empowering yes. youth because they, because they yes. are the future. And, and, and only they, uh, are going yes. to change our way of mm -hmm. doing things and, be, and live the, the, a better planet, socially and yes. ecologically. Maria, I so it thank, you, thank you. It's been thank you for being with me. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Agustin, for the opportunity you gave me to speak about this project. I have loved this project and I wanted it's so true. much to talk about it. <laughs> and I hope <laughs> I hope, I hope that I gave some ideas to the participants and I hope that we all keep motivated to work uh, towards uh, the global goals. Thank you. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank and you. let's stay connected. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Tomorrow, 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 yes. <laughs> we will be here again. <laughs> Claire, yes, would you I like to I tell us something about the, the webinar? Beautiful, perfect presentation. I think, oh goodness, you've raised the standard very high. <laughs> <laughs> so tomorrow I will um, aim to tell you a little bit about my research and my experiences about following a master program on sustainability in the UK. And uh, I look forward to uh, sharing some ideas with you, but also hearing uh, what you think about my personal critique on certain uh, approaches in education. Um, so I hope it will be an uh, interactive session tomorrow. And uh, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm a little bit nervous about it. <laughs> I'm also... <laughs> uh, don't be. <laughs> I was nervous. <laughs> Don't be. Everything will be fine. Uh, we will support you. <laughs> right. If there's anyone that, can, that is here now that can't make it tomorrow, please uh, write down your email address so I can forward uh, some more information if you're interested. So um, that's no problem. Yes. Okay, please. then. Bye. See you bye, tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 bye.